My name is Gurdil Singh Bopurai. I'm on the Stockton City Planning Commission for District 5, which encompasses the Port of Stockton. Today I'm here to tell you exactly what you want to hear. I'm here to talk about the new amendments on SB 553 and how they make this bill worse. Yesterday, the youth was successfully able to secure a copy of the new amendments from Chris Holden's office. According to the new amendments to SB 553, the biggest concern is that employers with 50 or more employees are already required by state law to provide employees with health care insurance and will still be excluded from SB 553. Also, employers that do not directly serve the public and have less than 10 employees will now be excluded, such as law firms and tax firms. Thus, small businesses that directly serve the public, such as liquor stores, smoke shops, gas stations, hotels, restaurants, with less than 50 employees will still be impacted by SB 553. Furthermore, under these new amendments, you are not required to secure, uh, hire a security guard, but if you do not hire a security guard under your workplace violence protection plan, you will be held liable for workplace violence experienced by employees that could have been prevented by a security guard. Many other new amendments are very concerning. The original language to the bill required a recorded statement to prove, to prove the threat of violence. Now, any verbal statement can be used to claim a threat of violence, removing the requirement for proof. The new amendments also eliminates procedures to obtain assistance from law enforcement, putting all liability on the business owner without any support from law enforcement. The new amendments remove the requirements for employees to document communications regarding workplace violence further eliminating proof that would help alleviate the liability on business owners. The new amendments remove the procedures for post-incident response and investigation in the workplace violence prevention plan. Thus, employers who fail to implement effective procedures on their own are at a greater risk for liability. Finally, the new amendments mandate a workplace violence protection plan without dedicated safety personnel. Thus, business owners are at a greater liability for employees who confront workplace violence under their workplace violence prevention plan. As you can see, this all has made SB 553 worse, not better. The new language on SB 553 still treats employees and all businesses like hospital employees. Violations to SB 553 can cost up to $18,000. Even if SB 553 is passed into law, we will stay united. We will not give up. We will put SB 553 on hold through a formal referendum until the voters of California vote on SB 55 directly as a proposition in the next election. I can tell you, my father owns the oldest truck stop by the Port of Stockton, and we see violence every day. If you go there tonight, I promise you, you will see 12 prostitutes that we cannot kick off our property according to the police. That, yes, yeah, shame. That is shameful. Shame. 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 I have myself experienced violence at the hand of drug crime lords. As a kid in second grade, when I was walking with, to, with my uh, brother to the park, I was hit and run by a drug dealer who was high. And it took over an hour for the ambulance to come to help me. It took the police two years to arrest that drug dealer. And since then, it has gotten worse. I have personally seen this. My father has personally seen this. We have been victims to this, and it's only getting worse. We need to stop SB 553 at any cost, and all the elected officials behind me, senators and assembly members, we need to support them with everything that we have. These are the kind of politicians that deserve to serve at our state capitol. Thank you.
Thank you so much. It's so great to see the next generation that is fighting for California, and we are so excited for your fight. Thank you for informing us of, this, of the latest developments on this bill. We need to stop this. So I just want to tell you all, thank you for allowing us to be with you this morning. We're going to go back into that building we have session this morning. We're going to continue to fight for you, fight for the victims, and we need to stop crime here in California. Stop these bad policies. No on 553. Oh, 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 oh.